I'm in my pickup truck, which by the way, I've used several times this week to go do projects that otherwise I wouldn't have been able to do had I not had the truck. And so what I've done just now is I went to go pick up a full table set and six chairs to be able to work on a, for a project that I'm working on that you guys don't even know anything about. And it's just exciting for me to be able to know that I have my own truck, that I can go and get all these things and not have to turn things down or not do projects because I don't have a way to pick them up without paying someone to do it. And you know, I live pretty far from everything. So if you pay someone to do something, it's not a cheap thing to just be like, throw someone a couple of dollars to help you go pick something up. So I'm excited that I've been able to do this all by myself today. Look at this dining set. Six chairs, there's a round table, needs tightening. There's a leaf so I can make it bigger, make it more like an oval. How stinking cute. I will definitely be restoring this set, not leaving it white. It needs some love. You can see, it needs a lot of patience and sanding and all the things. It really needs a good scrubbing for sure. But when this is restored and painted, it will be absolutely amazing. What do you think? Feel a storm rolling in? It's getting windy. While I was off on my road trip adventure to go pick up my furniture piece, Philip took down the wood shelter. Much needed. So good. That is all we have left from a little more than six cords from this winter. I want to sneak around and show you what the pigs do when they're outside, when no one's out here and no one, they don't think anyone's watching. It's so cute. Are you two snuggling? Oh, busted. These two canoodling in the yard. What are you doing, Ragna? <laughs> you were snuggling with Erickson. Yes, you were. Those two just love each other. Hi. See the dirty snouts? One dirty snout, two dirty snouts, three. Where are you, Erickson? Three dirty snouts. So in doing research about kunikunis, there's a whole bunch of characteristics we look for when picking our kunikunis and also why we're picking the kunikuni breed. Philip found this breed, fell in love with it. I can explain all the reasons why. One of the reasons why we thought it would be great was because all pigs do root, but kunikunis are known to be less rooting piglets. Uh, yeah, they have torn up their side yard already in just a couple of days. Their tails are all wagging in pride for them ripping up the yard, but they definitely root. So if you're thinking of getting kunikunis, please know that they 100% root probably just as much as other pigs, although this is my only pig experience firsthand. Ragna, Frida, where are you, Erickson? Rooting. Yep, there he is. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you guys are so cute. <laughs> Philip worked so hard today getting that down. Now we're going to move all the wood over to our little shelter thing that we have on our porch. So that's all we have left for winter, and that's basically all we're going to need, if even all of that but so that they can have a nice cleared out area. For one wall sanded, two other large walls to go then I get to put the coating over top. I've been perfecting these walls every day, going by doing some, I'm gonna put some primer on, roll the green paint over top, and that should do it. This should be the last time I had to coat over, and then the whole room will be officially completely painted. And today, we're going to hang the accent that I wanna put above the bathtub. And although, maybe it's a plain feature to some, it's part of the vision that I had for the original bathroom design was to have something with heavy drapery hanging on either side of the bathtub. And yes, we do have a shower and I totally know that, but as an aesthetic and design element, I really loved the older bathrooms that had the coffee tub with the gold faucets and the overhead hanging shower curtain rod. I'm gonna float it from the ceiling, especially in front of the window, and then have the drapery there. I think it's going to be so dreamy. 
And when I originally went to go buy the shower curtain, I was at Ikea with Teresa, Phillips mom, and I was so disappointed that I couldn't find the color that I wanted. I really did want something that had a green in it. Little did I know that it ended up being okay and totally the better choice that I got the color that I got or the neutral that I got because I ended up deciding to do the walls green. So had I actually found the color that I wanted, it really wouldn't have gone and it would have been a waste. And so everything happens for a reason. They were sold out of the color that I originally wanted and I was meant to get the creamy white one instead. And now I have these beautiful green walls. It's going to look so dreamy. And I got like a crushed velvety kind of heavy drapery material. And what I did was I bought actual curtains, not shower curtains, and then just bought the plastic liners on the inside. I thought they were going to look a little more grand because I get them in a longer length than just your typical maybe six or six and a half foot long shower curtains. They thought they were going to look really short and I wanted to really drape on either side of the tub. So I'm so excited to hang this today. I just finished sanding all of the walls in here. And I am so happy that we only have a one more room in the house that needs drywall or any drywall putty at all. And that's so exciting because when you're renovating a whole house like this, the last thing you want to do is drywall. Do not like, do not like the mess of drywall putty. It is such a disaster and it makes things so dusty. And then for weeks, I'm extra dusting everything because it just makes so much residual mess down the road. Well, hello. Good morning. Hi. Who are you? <laughs> Let's get you some breakfast. Hi. Hey, buddy. I hope you're friendly. I'm in bare feet. Hi, buddy. Good morning. Get back up. Are you cold? Oh, some breakfast. Morning. The sun is shining on you. No tag, just a collar. I'm in bare feet, you two family. She came to the dog area. It's not like English Homestead looked like a welcoming place to be. Poor muffin. <laughs> well, if you remember from a couple months back when our dogs decided to go for an adventure, we certainly know how that felt. So I'm sure someone's looking for this one. Okay, well, I'm gonna go put a thing on the buy and sell quick. Yeah. So we've been taking care of this sweet little thing. Her name is Maggie. She showed up, well, I don't know what time she actually showed up. Earliest we went out this morning was just after 6.30. Yeah. And we figured out who the owner is. Uh -huh. And apparently Maggie went on a hike with her adult mom, the human mom, and a pup mate and ran off and they couldn't, they literally couldn't find her last night. The owners apparently went out of town this morning and Maggie ended up on our doorstep. So we're not sure if Maggie smelt the horses because her owner also has horses and she thought that was a safe place to go or what happened, but Maggie ended up here. So we're keeping Maggie warm, lots of water, giving her food. We don't want to overfeed her. She hasn't really done anything. She's just been wanting to be in this dog bed that we brought outside for her. I think she's just cold to the core. Yeah, and because we have three other dogs and we can't really just bring her in. So we've just been keeping her warm out here and it's actually not that bad today, so. No, the sun was beating on her. Yeah. She had to sleep. She does just want to be here though and just warm. Yeah. You are just the sweetest thing. She was real tired out last night. Last night was the coldest night we've had in a while. Quickest thing I could grab this morning was my sweater hanging on my gold laundry hanger. <laughs> right here in the pantry from doing laundry last night. So gave her my sweater. I figured now it's already hers now. So I think she had a long night. So surrounding us, there's like tons of trails and stuff. And we often see people walking around with dogs. Some people that are just in our area visiting and having holidays and stuff like that, but not so much this time of year. So we figured she was someone's like somebody local. And I do know what a couple people's dogs looks like, but we don't really know that many people at where we live. Like we live pretty rural, right? So you don't know all the families or who their dogs are. And 
when I woke up this morning to go out the side door and saw her, I thought, oh my gosh, like she had a collar, but no tag on it, which is not uncommon out here. And she just looked so tired and I knew for sure she'd be hungry, but you never know if a dog is friendly or not. So I hoped that she was and waited for Philip to come down and we got her some food and water and we did a whole bunch of just Philly did some head pets just to see how she was. And luckily she came into this fenced area. So it was easy to just have her kind of trapped in this spot here. So I don't want her wandering off again until her owner can come and get her. So we did locate them and they're coming in about an hour and a half or so. So hopefully she's okay. I don't know if she got into anything overnight or if she had any battles with any predators or anything. She's a little shaky. She's not really wanting to do a whole lot. She definitely had a cold night. So we're just kind of keeping a close eye on her. So this is what I was so excited about hanging. I think I knocked my picture frames a little crooked on the left there, so ignore that. Hanging above the window and my tub and the coffee are going to go right underneath. I have to set the tub exactly where it's gonna be and then put my curtain rod on and my plastic curtain rod. I still wanna do a little bit of like a white dap all the way along the beadboard there because or all along that crown molding there because I don't like, there's a couple little separations even though it's on there tightly. A few touch-ups like I said, but man, this was a stinker to hang. So many different angles and dimensions to make sure that it was perfectly level. And I had to hang it to where the height, you can cut these rods. They do come with some length on both ends and I cut all of that off and then I was still that far. So I can't make it go up any taller, but that's okay. I'm actually quite happy with where it is right now and we're gonna see what it looks like in a second with the shower curtain on. Okay, YouTube family, I have my curtains hung up. I put my plant in there. I think it'll look so cute trailing through. So I think I clearly underestimated how tall my ceiling is <laughs> or overestimated how tall my ceiling is because I have about three feet of extra on the bottom. So I'm gonna have to definitely take some of that off, but I just wanted to look at it and stare at it and see what it was gonna look like. Also, my tub is super low on the window ledge right now because my gold claw feet are going to go in there. So I'm gonna work on that tomorrow. But look at it. I think we have Dr. Seuss trees. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? They're a little sad. <laughs> we were waiting and hoping that they were gonna spruce back up, but they are not springing up. They're not doing anything. <laughs> They, I think they're <laughs> kind of broken in the core of the tree, yeah. yeah. And this isn't the only section. This is the better of the sections. We have some oh, trees. Yeah. Our forest is pretty bad. A lot of the tops of the trees got overweighted. And so we have tons of tops of trees in the back of the forest that we have to rectify. Clean up. But, but today, he's not going to cut a ton today till the chipper comes, but he is going to just cut because we don't want to set our little burn area on fire by having a tree leaning into it. So he's going to take these out. Unfortunate, but we do have a bunch of other trees here for shade for the turkeys and they've been enjoying a lot of outside time. So they won't miss these trees, I don't think. <laughs> I realized from doing interior renovations that outside can get out of hand really quickly. And you think like, well, why don't you just pick it up at the end of the day? But by the time you do all of your prep for filming, do your filming, work on the actual project for filming, take care of your children and your animals and everything. By the end of the day, whatever you've left from the work you've been doing outside sometimes just stays there. So we're trying to get on top of everything that we have to finish outside and get everything cleaned up and kind of give us a fresh start for spring here. <laughs> Me and my new friend warming up in the truck. She's just shivering, she can't get warm. She doesn't want to be in the house, she wants to be outside, but she's so cold when she stands up, she's just chattering. Oh, big smile for everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Maggie. So I got the heat cranked in the truck. I'm gonna go wander down to where I know she lives, see if her family's back home yet, and see if we can get her in the house and get warmed up. I'm guessing they have a wood stove. She'll probably warm up pretty good over there. She probably, probably just wants to warm up at home. all over the map. We woke up with a random dog on the front porch. Boys were late for school because we obviously were dealing with the dog. So then instead of them taking the bus, I decided to drive them. So I whipped them all the way to school, you know, did our thing. Luckily on the way, we figured out whose dog it was so they could have relief going to school knowing that the dog's owner was there. 
And then on the way home, I thought, I'm just going to check the mailbox because our mail doesn't come to our house. We have a pickup spot for it. That was a lovely surprise and a hectic morning that there was a package here for me. And this is from Jennifer Holmes. And Jennifer Holmes even put my favorite at last roses photo on the front. So thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer has been watching our bathroom series and just like many of our YouTube family members. And she, 25 years ago, like 25, I'm 40. So when I was, since I was 15, Jennifer has had the contents of this box that she found at a yard sale. And she thought one day she's going to find the perfect project for this. And she saw our bathroom and she was like, I found the perfect project for this. So I'm so thankful that somehow I ended up being the perfect project that she knew she was going to have to do 25 years ago. And she sent me. Oh incredible. my word. Well, there's a card. So let me do that first. Okay. Alicia with the heart. Always open the card first. I never like even know how to handle when you guys send me things that are like so thoughtful and like to think to put the roses that she knows I like on the outside and like just so sweet. English and Alicia and family greetings from beautiful New England. Many oh may these lions give you peace and comfort. Much love. Jen and the family. 14 chickens, four beehives, a jasper dog, a bow cat, a Loki parrot, and a handsome patient husband named Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Carl. That is the best ever. So sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> best ever. Okay, so this is what she sent me. This was the heaviest package parcel to send ever. Oh, my. Fluffy. What was my bathtub missing? I had stumpy. <laughs> I don't know what elephant you want to call. I had elephant feet. Jennifer had two claw feet. Amazing. And I'm guessing by the size of these that these are almost entirely the same height as the ones that I have. So I think that the bathtub will be leveled out with these. I wasn't sure when she said she was sending them if they'd be super tall or shorter or if they would be, but they appear to be like the same height feel wise as the ones that I have. And they have the claws with the ball on the bottom. So these are going to be restored a bit, painted gold, and put on the front of the bathtub. And then I'll just put the plain ones that will be against the wall anyways at the back. And no one will ever know. I only have two claw feet, but how amazing and so thoughtful that Jennifer sent this for me. And I our love family. Oh my. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. How thoughtful. And I just keep thinking of how long she's been storing these. And probably if she's moved ever, has moved these from house to house to house. Or like all the adventures that these things have been on before Jennifer had them during the time Jennifer had them, and then now at our house. So how amazing. Thank you so much. That's so thoughtful of you. So fun.